everybody Ann here sitting out in front of the chickens the Easter egg chickens notice something different mm-hmm baby chickens are out by themselves I think that's Miss Pris's fancy pants sticking out the back there oh no they're all doing fine though you know they are doing just fine I may let them free range for a little bit today Hopefully the baby chicks will at least try and stay close to Miss Pris because she's been staying closer to Romeo. What about you, girlfriend? You sound happy. Yeah, I put this back here. Papa still is on his lead from time to time, not all the time. I just want to keep him safe. Look at those are all chia seeds I put down in the ground day before yesterday and they're already sprouting up. Oh, what you guys doing, huh? Oh, that's Miss Pris right there. That must have been Coco in the band. Hi, guys. Where's everybody else? No, you know who that is? That is Raven. Raven is getting fancy pants. And then Rocky is just on the inside as well. Yep, two eggs down here today. And then we've got another egg up here which is unusual, smaller than usual. Now, Roxy usually lays eggs that are oval like this, but they're bigger, so I'm thinking this is a Miss Pris egg. And this is the warmest, and I know that Roxy was just on the nest. So that's Coco's, that's Miss Pris, and that's Roxy. Yep, Miss Pris uh, eggs will get bigger as time goes by. All right, three eggs a day now. There's the Easter eggers, they're all huddled over here. You know why? Oh, there's a squirrel out there. Because I caught the beautiful Miss Olive and I have put her in here. I may go ahead and clip her wings just because leghorns are notorious for just being really good flyers. So I will do that hopefully later on today. But this is her new home. And, you know, I think she's going to be okay. The Easter eggers are getting bigger. So they'll be able to fend for themselves. Look at those pretty chickens. So, hopefully this will contain them. See there? This is where this ends. So I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see if Olive tries to fly out. But look at how big she's getting. I don't know. What do you guys think? Mmm. -hmm. It'll be interesting to see what happens tonight when it's time to roost. But she's got to get used to these new chickens, and these chickens have got to get used to her. But they've got plenty of room to run around and escape, so... <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna give them what for. It's okay, it'll settle down. See this mushroom? We're gonna find out what it is right now. Okay. Looks like a pawpaw mushroom, right? Is it? There's no stem. Let's see what's on the inside. I knew what it was as soon as I tried to open it up and it was really firm. Whoa! Big tree. Big tree just fell over there. I'll go check it out in a second. Anyhow, yeah, this is a this is a pig skin puffball mushroom. It's dark on the inside. You can't eat it. You can never eat it. This is actually a, a new one. So I'm going to toss it. What about this one? Looks like we got a big spawn of these around here. Yeah. Look at that. <sighs> Grody. Nope. Can't eat it. These are brand new too. Sometimes edible puffball mushrooms their flesh will turn dark after a while but not this dark I gotta go see that tree that fell I'm thinking that it's in this area because when a big limb falls a bunch of smaller ones break down around it I probably shouldn't be doing this because there's probably gonna be more that's gonna fall okay there it is see that one right there it goes all the way there it's got different pieces on it. I think that's the one. Yeah, there's the limb that fell. 
right there. It fell right on top of that little fence thing. Um, I could pull this off a little later. It's got lots of different parts to it. I'm glad I wasn't hiking out in this area when this came down. Although it's not very big, it could have caused me some damage. I'm getting out of these woods because I keep hearing tree limbs kind of cracking. And that's kind of an indication that something's about to fall. This tree right here would make a bunch of really great stakes, I think. It doesn't have a whole lot of leaves. And... Yeah, I'm going to have to check this out. I'm probably just going to either bow saw this down or get my mini chainsaw. I don't know if it's charged up though. The bow saw's charged up. I think I should grab this. Mini chainsaw, not charged up, but the Baco is. I wonder if I can film and cut this at the same time. Probably not, but we're going to see. Oops. This cut. Oh, dang, well, look you guys. All right, let me finish this up. <laughs> Did I do it good enough? Nah, I'm gonna hit it just a little bit more. All right, let's see. Did it! No, I didn't notch it. So let me get this back over by the chicken yard. It was actually pretty tall, so I went ahead and cut this big piece off because I know that even all the way down to here, that's going to be good enough for a steak. And then this, I don't think I'll use it for a steak. I'm just going to let it dry out and I will burn it in fire. Just to give you an idea how big it is, it goes all the way up there. And that's pretty tall. So this is what I'm going to use in the middle of the yard. So I can complete the top to this. I can fill in this hole with chicken wire and I think that'll be sturdy enough to be able to support it in the center and have some of it go off to the top of the hen house. So yeah, I think I can do that. Where's Olive? Oh, she's over there. Baby chick's over here. Look what I'm doing, you guys. Yes, I am fermenting some tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, some onions, garlic red and green bell peppers and I'm just letting it ferment. I'm not going to give you the recipe for this because this is not really how I want to do it. I oh, wouldn't look at that label. I accidentally wiped it off. Um, because I didn't have any fresh green and red bell peppers. I didn't have any fresh garlic. I didn't have any fresh onion. So what I did have is I had dehydrated red and green sweet bell peppers. I had some dehydrated onion slices and some dehydrated onion. So I went ahead and put that in there. There's plenty, plenty of liquid and the vegetables like the tomatoes and the jalapeno peppers will kind of shrink down a little bit and give off more fluid. So it's very easy to do. I will see how this goes. It's been fermenting for a day and it is starting to bubble a little bit. Um, and it during the hot weather, it will ferment quicker so, I don't know, I may let this go for three days and then taste it, but I did open it and it smells absolutely wonderful. So, I'll let you know how this one goes. I think it's going to turn out great. Of course, it's going to be a lot better with all fresh vegetables. So, once I get all fresh vegetables and I, it's going to rain. I better get in out, out of the rain. Yup, it's raining. God has blessed me yet again today with a little bit of sun, now a little bit of rain. Hopefully it won't get too windy. I'm not going to hold my breath for the whole wind thing because the wind is taking off, but it feels so good out here. Once I have all the fresh vegetables I need, I'll share the recipe with you. Because I fermented vegetables before, I've never fermented tomatoes and I didn't even know you could do it, but yeah, you can do it. So, I'm going to let this ferment. It's going to be a cross between a salsa and a sauce that I'll use over pasta. So, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's going to taste good. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.